everybody, this is Jess and I'm back with a new tutorial. In this tutorial I'm actually going to be talking about how to actually draw a horse. Um, I thought it'd be fun to do some uh, tutorials on how, you, how I actually draw um, rather than just watercolour methods and um, Photoshop colouring. So um, this is a picture of my friend's horse Maisie. Uh, taken by Abby Scott, a friend of mine um, who owns Hoof Prints Photography, and she has kindly let me um, use this photograph to do a drawing from. And I find that if you draw from photographs, um, it's a great way of learning the anatomy of something. So I'm just going to do it in Photoshop. Normally I would do it with pencil and paper, but for demonstration purposes, I'm just doing it in Photoshop. Um, so first things first, <laughs> All horses are going to have a similar look. The breed of the horse is going to change um, certain things about the horse, um, but in general, they're going to have a similar anatomy. As you can see here with Maisie, she's got this kind of curve here, and all horses will have like a, a cross here between the eyes. So you've got eye, eye, this is the forelock, and then their ears tend to tip in. So I just want you to look at the basic shape, the outline of a horse. The muzzle down here, this is just a drawing over the top of the drawing, is going to be somewhat round. Then you're going to have this cheekbone here, almost like a, a back, like a J. And then you've got the neck that comes into the jawbone. So I'm just showing that as a red outline just to give you an idea of where the anatomy lies, how it works. Okay, get rid of that and we'll come back. We'll keep coming back to the photograph to look at it. So on this paper I'm just going to go and use a grey, something that will mimic a pencil a little bit. And then we're going to kind of go back and forth looking at the, the photograph. Oops. Sorry about that. Get rid of those again. Okay. So, I would start with the part that is really showing itself here, and that would be the forehead and the eye. So this, to me, is kind of a diamond shape. Um, so we're going to start with the diamond shape and we're going to do it very with it if you're just using pencil or if you're doing it in Photoshop we're going to do it really light so if you were doing it with just a pencil just just do it lightly you want to get the general shape first before you start putting in a lot of detail you don't want to rush into your drawing and um, kind of just try and do it really detailed really fast and, and take too long on one bit because you could get it completely wrong so get in the basic shape first. So let's get in this kind of diamond shape. Okay, so starting around here, I'm gonna make it even lighter. I'm gonna put in a little bit of a diamond shape. Okay. And you see when I do my lines, they're really kind of etchy, scratchy lines. They're not um, I don't do it like this where it's perfect. They're just scratchy lines. Because I want you to feel the movement in the picture. So there's like the kind of a diamond. There's going to be a line here. I'm going to make this even lighter. And down here we're going to have like a roundish muzzle. So I'll go ahead and just do... maybe like a circle down here, okay? And then back to the picture. Here is another very important part of the horse. This here, the jawbone, okay? That is an important part of the horse. Um, every horse obviously has one and So we're just going to put in 
jaw here. So as you can see, that's kind of like a, a swooping J. And then looking back here, you see how the line goes from the jawbone into down here, which is the muzzle, We're just going to do a sweeping kind of. Also still curved line into this round muzzle. So you've got a diamond shape, you've got kind of a sweeping J here. And then another line curved into a round muzzle. And this is just the basic shape so far, okay? We're not worried about it being perfect. Now let's put in the ears. We've got the forelock, which is, this is the mane. The forelock is the part of the mane that comes to the front of the horse. Um, kind of like their bangs, if you like, or fringe, if you're British. Um, so we're going to put in the ears first, and then we can put in the forelock sweeping from side to side. So the ears are directly above the eyes, and the shape of them is kind of like, it kind of tips. So I want you to imagine two lines like that. So we'll just start with that, two lines that tip in like this. So you think it's directly above the eye, so one eye would be here, another eye would be here. And we're going to do it over the diamond shape we did. If you look back, two lines that kind of curve inwards. That looks funny, I know, but that's it's just going to give us a rough idea. Then what they do is they, back to the red here, they kind of it's almost like a lemon, a lemon, a, like a squashed lemon shape. You see that? That's the way the ears kind of do a squashed lemon shape. Which looks a bit like a little devil right now, but. <laughs> okay, back to my gray. Just do it lightly. So I want you to imagine that squashed lemon shape. So you're curving in and you're kind of tipping those ears in a little bit. Okay, so just general rough shape right now. Then the back of the ear kind of goes straight into the skull, so it kind of goes a line straight back. You can only see one here. You can't see this because of the mane. So you see that red line right there? We're just going to do a line coming out to the back. Okay. And then you would have the forelock sweeping down. Not going to worry about it too much. Up here, this is the pole, top of the horse's head. And then we'll come back up here. And I think the wonderful thing about hair is that you can just do so many lines and just let it go, let it flow down here. Do as many lines as you want. Don't be afraid of doing lots of lines. Okay, so we're getting a rough idea now. You have your diamond shape, you've got that sweeping J, you've got another one underneath and your circle. You just sort of generally connect them all. Then we'll put in the neck, which as you can see here, she kind of swoops. Go back to my red to show you. So it comes from, always look at, um, where a line meets another part of the body. So the mane, the crest of the neck here, comes almost like three quarters of the way up the ear. You see, like that. So it's a very easy line to draw. So we'll go back down in my gray. About three quarters of the way from of the ear, you're gonna just do that sweeping sweeping line. Okay, and then obviously you want to have the bottom of the neck, and as you can see that comes from about here. We're going to ignore the hand and the, and we're ignoring the, the halter that she's wearing. Now the neck sweeps down. Now what you're seeing here is actually the shoulder. This is the shoulder. The neck actually 
would do this. It would come down a bit more. And then this is her shoulder coming out. So I want you to go from about the middle of that sweeping J and then you're going to leave about a, a little tiny gap between your paper and this line. So go back to the grey. So halfway, what was it, about halfway? A little bit higher than halfway of that line. And then you're just going to go down there and you're going all the way down to find the cross section here. It's about here on her nose, not right down where the circle would be. Halfway down her jaw, so about here. And then look at the side of the paper, how far along do they come? Quite close to the edge. That's where people tend to go wrong with drawing is that they, they try to draw things without looking at the entire picture. So when you're looking at a picture, let's turn this off a minute. Don't just look at what you're drawing. Look at the negative spaces. And the negative spaces are the things around the object that you are drawing. So this is your negative space. A great way to learn how to draw is just draw the negative space. Oops, okay. Okay, that's your negative space. So if I were to turn off the picture, that's what you'd have left. So all of this, this is negative space all the way around the horse, okay? Then, remember, turn that off now, the relationship between where, let's say, the neck, this point in the neck, let's do it green, right here, let's say, where does this point of the neck come in relation to the side of her head? Well, if your eye's down here, you didn't do it in the right spot, the eye actually comes all the way up here. And then this eye is exactly parallel with this eye. Maybe this one's slightly higher. And then you can also do that with where does the ear come? Well, the ear comes directly above the eyes. Okay, so always think about that in relation to where, what you're drawing. Okay, I'll turn that off. Okay, so we have our basic drawing here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in a bit of mane. Keep it really light again. Turn it back at the picture. So because it's so dark, you can't really see the mane. She's a Frisian mare, so she has lots of hair. But I'm just going to put in a little bit here. Lines, just... And then you want, to, when you're drawing, you want to draw in the way that the hair would actually fall. So if it's a horse's mane, her mane is coming out of the top of the neck here, okay? And then it would, the weight of it pulls it down. So you would have it falling like that. And then think about gravity, okay? Think about how the hair is pulling the mane down and if the movement would be um, pulling it to one side or another, perhaps it's kind of knotted and tangled. It's not perfect, you're going to have lines going in different directions, kind of swirling down. Okay, and the hair from for the forelock comes out and comes forward and then it sort of brushes to the side to be out of the way of the eyes. Okay, so I like that so far. Let's go ahead and put the eyes in. Now, there's her eyes, and horses' eyes can be difficult because they're kind of a different shape. So they're going to come like that. So we'll put in the general shape. So we look at the shape, and I'll, I'll go ahead and do it in red to make it obvious what we're doing here. So the shape of the eye kind of does this. So we've got 
one line like that and then this curved line that comes up. Okay, that's a gen let's just get that general shape in. So we'll go back again. Start with this line here. And oops, this sort of curved line, half a circle line underneath. Does it start at the end there? It starts a little bit above and it stops a little bit there. Okay. Now this side of the eye, all you can see is a curve. Okay. Curved line here. And I would put in probably a bit of um, eyelashes. So we've got bit of a curved line here and then the eyelashes I would just kind of have a little line coming up the eyelashes okay now we can look at being now we've got this basic shape we can look at being a little bit more specific a little more detailed we can start erasing things we don't like and putting in more heavy lines things that we want so I would start by probably giving her less a less dished face and start putting in some of the more of the bones here. So I've kind of dished her face a lot here, which it's not quite this narrow. Um, so I'll bring that out a little bit. So that's what you want to do is start with your basic shape, then go in and make your changes. Okay. I might even go a little darker now. So like that, that's fine. And then I like to also put a line in the middle here just to show. I will erase that later, but and then that I like to do a line coming from here just to help guide me. There we go. Okay. And then we'll look at the way that a horse's nostril flares. So you come to the base of the nose and their nostril kind of flares outward. Base of the nose, nostril starts to flare out. And then they have a, their muzzle so the nostrils are higher set than the muzzle. The muzzle underneath here, this lip, uh, comes under the nose. So it actually sort of does this. And then we bring it round a little bit. And they, this is where the, this line here of the mouth, you could put, so I'll show you that line. And then it sort of comes out here, and then this is the jaw in the back here. You don't want to make this too prominent because it can look um, a little odd if you do too much detail on the horse's mouth. But generally, you do want to show that there are two lines here. The mouth here coming around, so like back here, same like that. This sort of swoops out, and I know of this because I have my own horses, so I see them every day and I know what they look like. But um, this part of the lip kind of kicks out a little bit right here. We'll put in the other nostril and remember try and keep it somewhat level to the other side. Now horses nostrils can be a bit odd, <laughs> especially to draw, um, but we'll do our best. So let's start with just this line here. 
Okay, just a curved line. So it's sort of parallel to this side. And then go back. Then the interesting thing is with the horse's nose is that it does this sort of strange the way the skin folds underneath. It's almost like a S here, but backwards. So we'll go ahead and do that. See how it's starting to come together. Okay, look back at our picture, and then she's also she's really breathing heavily. That's why there's always wrinkles here in the middle of her nose. You don't need to go too crazy on the detail of the nose. You obviously need to have horses' nostrils, but um, that's okay. Uh, you could put in let's see a line here. sort of showing she's sort of breathing heavily as horses do this would be darker now is the time once you've got your basic um, lines in for the contour drawing to start shading in the parts that would be the darkest part on the horse so your nostrils obviously inside of there this is really really dark And uh, the bottom of the jaw here, this would be extremely dark. So getting in some basic shadows of where light and dark hit. Um, there's also a shadow here. As the nostrils flaring out, you've got one coming here. And then again, in the middle in between the nostrils. I'm just very quickly, roughly blocking in where there would be shadow. Okay, so always remember to step back from your work and look at it. Okay, looks pretty cool so far. I still think I've got this way too dished. So I'm going to actually, you would, you know, you could lightly erase it or I would normally be doing this with pencil and paper, but you can do it in Photoshop too if you have Photoshop. If not, I would recommend you just use your paper and your pencil. Yeah, that's a bit better. I mean, there are horses that are, have extremely dished faces. That's the Arab. Arabians have very dished faces. So if that's what you're drawing, that would be a good thing. Okay, got a swooping line there. All right, so far so good. Look back at the jaw. Uh, also not quite as, as curved as I've drawn it here. So we'll, I'm gonna start bringing this out a little, a little bit straighter. And this jaw muscle is actually a little rounder than I've drawn it. Comes out a bit more. And you can't see obviously because there's numbers in the way, but you have to guess that the horse's neck, which it does, comes up out of near the top of the that jaw muscle and then we're just we're not we don't have to put in the shoulder you can you know you're an artist you have artistic liberty you can leave out the shoulder and just put in the neck as I have here just leave it like that which is fine and now I'm going to go back up and look at how the structure of the horse's nose comes here so um, there's a lot of shadow here 
and uh, probably the best way for me to do it, I would just take a pencil and I would um, shade in large portions. So I'm just going to use this to shade in areas where the shadow is hitting. So that's there's the light right here on the front of the horse's nose. And that's going to help define the bones. So um, all of this is in shadow. So I'm just going to go ahead and You would do this probably with a pencil, just roughly put that in. Let's see here, and it goes all the way up to there. Oh no, it's because I have it on the low opacity. Okay, um, that's fine. We'll leave that like that for now. I'll just put a little shadow under this. And a little more here, because this would be under the horse. We're going to add a bit of shadow to kind of accentuate that jawline. This is, if you look here, darkest part. Look for the darkest parts. Okay, this would be dark. Under the neck, under the mane. Go ahead and just put in a little shadow there too. Okay. Now I'm gonna now I can kind of see where the bone structure would be. Okay, so now you can see there's a line here, quite a defined line on the nose. And I'll go to this. And then the nostril flares out right here. I don't need to put that line in there. Okay. This is where the, you know, the airway is. She's breathing through her nose right here. And then you've got this sort of line here around the eye. It sort of comes like this. Under, look at under the eye, there's a line kind of I'll show you up close here. This line here. So it sort of swoops under the eye. It's sort of her like on a human, you know, get bags under your eyes. Okay, she's coming together. All right, so um, we'll define in the ears a little more. Now I've made them a lot more tipped than what they really are, so we can fix that now. So I've really brought them in when they don't really go in that much. But as you can see, they, they do kind of come in here, like this. Right, all the noises in the background are my dogs that are sleeping at my feet right now. <laughs> and again, look at the shape of the ear. Bring it in like that. You can't see, but there's a line here. So the hair on their ears, it sort of grows in like that. And then you can start putting in a lot more lines for the mane. Now this is not the most basic drawing, neither is it the best. As I'm doing it through Photoshop and I much prefer to do it by hand. Um, but it does give you a, the general idea of how to draw a horse. I love drawing hair. so. Also, hair is a great way to show uh, shine. So as you can see, there's a real dark patch there. So now is the time I would add some darker lines to where the shadows are. 
And remember, you don't have to stick to exactly what you see in your photograph. Okay, and look again, sweeps like that. Just think about how the hair falls, which way it's going. So if you're doing it with pencil, um, remember just press harder and do softer. You with the what I find a lot of um, beginner artists don't do is they don't vary the um, pressure of their pencil. So you'll do lots of little really soft lines instead of getting in there and really doing lots of dark lines and soft lines. Now this is all very dark, so I'll just go ahead and put in some... Actually, that's okay. I'm just going to block that in. So if I was using pencil, I would just shade that. Maybe a bit lighter in there. Okay. Okay, and then go back to doing the lines. Sweeping from the top and bring it down. As you can see, when I'm doing the horse's hair at the top here, I'm kind of starting at the crest of the neck and I'm letting it kind of fall over like that. They, it's this motion. Okay. You can do lots of those. Even some that don't quite make it because at the top you'd have little fine hairs as well that didn't quite get over. I could do hair forever. I could be here all day doing the hair. So we'll kind of give that a break for a minute and we'll focus on the eyes. Let's have a look at Maisie's eyes. Okay. Let's see how that's seen that cool. All right, so they've got eyelashes right here. So we'll put in some eyelashes. They kind of jet out like this on the top. So you've got Eyelashes there coming out, okay. And then look for the light and the dark. So you've got a, some dark in here down near the bottom, and the light kind of hits the eye on the side. And as you can see, it's not just one big, bold, white blob, it's lots of little, you know, patches of light that you can see, and that's what really makes an eye look like it's real. So we're going to go ahead and put this is the darkest part down here. And that's the lightest up there. Remember their eyes are, you know, round, bulbous. They actually, instead of a pupil being round like this, a horse's pupil looks like this. And then has like little things coming off of it. It's quite incredible actually look at a horse's eye up close. You can't see from this photograph, you know, that kind of level, but you can know that right here, that's the horse's pupil. They can see all the way around them. Look back again, so that's sort of, you know, you don't have to exactly like the photograph, you can just sort of get your general idea in. Um, let me 
need a two dot here. Okay. And there's a bit of a shadow here. There's actually an indentation above the eye socket right here. It's always good to do a little shadowing in there. Okay. And then I'll probably just clean up these lines I used to help me out just a little bit. And then if I had time, I would, I mean, I would use lots of lines to go over this. I don't need those lines anymore. Okay, now obviously it looks a bit white and bare now, so we need to look and see that in the middle of the horse's mm. face is a, a whirl right there. So grab this again. And you can just think about a whirl and the way that the hair goes. Start at one point and then start pulling the lines out a little. And then you think that's how the hair is coming out. So you could start doing lines like that from that point. And then think about how they grow and just do lots and lots of little lines coming out from that point. And then down the horse's nose. It's almost like a star. So that whenever you're drawing animals with fur, just think about the way their hair grows and the direction in which it grows, because that will help you tremendously with your drawing. So the hair, if you look at her, the hair then goes down here, right out to the eye. Way up to the forelock, the knee. And then you keep in mind, where did you see the shadows? Look back, big shadow in the middle of the nose here like this. So as I'm going down and doing the lines, I would keep that in mind and add more lines to those areas. So underneath the eye, add a little more shadow. There's also a line right here. And really, you, you really can't go wrong by just doing lots and lots of lines. You're eventually going to find, you know, your happy place and your groove, and you're going to realize, oh, look, I really did make that look like a horse. I really did do the anatomy good just by kind of playing with doing lots of lines and following the shapes and the patterns and looking at my drawing, looking at my reference photo. And then bring that one up. Okay, I'm just gonna have a quick look at thing I think I need to put in a bit of shadow in here so 
So if I was doing it with pencil and paper, I would come in and probably smooth it a little bit with my finger, but I can do that here too with the blend smudge tool. Just smudge a little bit of this. You know, don't go crazy with smudging because cross hatching and shading is fabulous. That's using lots of lines back and forth. Um, that's a more uh, professional way to shade than just blurring everything together. Okay, it's coming together. I'm gonna shade up here a little bit, blur it up here a little bit. Okay, not too much though. And then finish off by just kind of getting all those big white patches I did too much. I'm gonna go back in and put in some more texture, add more lines. Okay, I think I need to still come in and do this nose now. This is the part of the horse here that's really like, you know, that's the skull there, that's hard. There's no f like chubby flesh on this area. This is just bone. You've got fur on top of bone basically. In the jaw here, this is muscle, huge amount of muscle in this jaw. I've got to chomp all that hay and grass. So. Okay, the eye sockets kind of come out a little bit, like the the bone here. This is bone, but there's an indentation above each eye. Where when the horse chews, it actually kind of goes up and down, up and down, right here. There's like a hole almost. Okay, that's better. Have a little look. Yeah, that's pretty good. As you can see, I need to add some shadow in the darkest part here in the ears. Obviously, that's extremely dark. Um, so that's when you get too involved in one area, you can like lose your focus a little bit, even the best of us do that. So there we go, we added a bit of darkness and there should be a bit more there and you know where the jaw meets the neck underneath um, and ooh, make that a bit smaller in the nostril. Okay. There we go, that's better. Okay. And then I might just do a lighter. Oops. Look again at the picture. The jaw here is extremely dark. I need to add that. It's a little darker, I think. It's amazing what a shadow can do for you. I'm just going to hit a couple more areas just to let's have a look at the picture again. Make sure we get a good amount of shadow in here. Sorry there. Have to call you back. Look at the picture, there's some shadow in there. Got that pretty good. And I think that's pretty good there. And then I'm just going to go over some lines that are very dark. Just to pick up on some hair.
and I would spend a lot more time on this and I would, I would really, you know, do a lot more with the hair, but for the sake of showing you how to do it, um, this is a basic good drawing of a horse. Okay. So, and then I could, you know, you'd go around with your eraser afterwards and just erase anything you didn't like. Um, but in general, I like to leave things kind of messy. That's my style. So I hope you enjoyed it. There's a picture of a horse, a drawing of a horse. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like me to show you how to draw anything else, just leave a comment and let me know and uh, I'd love to see your drawings so go ahead and give me a link to what you've done um, and yeah I hope you enjoyed this have a wonderful day